All right. First, we need weapons. Urgently! Anything we can find. Axes, mattocks, picks, whatever's gonna do in a pinch. Then, we need to make this place zombie-proof. Board up doors, windows, mouse holes, so nothing can get through! And lastly, we go out there and we kick some fucking zombie ass! Kick ass! What's up, everybody? This is the Colonel. I'm here with the director of Bong of the Living Dead, Max Groa. Max, it's nice having you here. Hey, thanks, Colonel. Good to be here. Hey, um, so I, I watched this film about a few months ago, and it's absolutely hilarious. What gave you the idea for a stoner zombie movie? Well, uh, I was actually on the set of another film in 2001. We were doing a film called Bloody Mary. Never came to see the light of the day. Uh, but on that set, we were joking around about fun titles. And someone said, Bong the Dead, Bong the Living Dead, you know? And uh, we were like, oh, that's stoner and zombie, but zombies. And kind of were like, we kind of wanted to do either a Western zombie movie or like a medieval zombie movie. And then when Bong of the Living Dead came out, we were like, okay, fuck those ideas. Stoner zombie comedy, you know? Um, so it's funny, we wrote the script based off the title, um, just as an exercise in writing a feature script. Uh, we didn't really intend to shoot it until about 10 years later when the script was so cool, we couldn't resist. So right. yeah, it came off that. It came off a joke on another set, which I think a lot of ideas are born on movie sets. Speaking of jokes, like like I already said, this movie is hilarious. Uh, what was probably the funniest scene to film for you? So yeah, we cracked up a lot. Um, I think uh, that. So without giving away spoilers, there's a, a, a scene at the end where uh, uh, zombies are kind of. Uh, blocking an entrance and it gets cleared and a door gets kicked open and there's a uh, uh, one of our characters is uh, in a huge cloud of smoke and he kind of has the line uh, if that's a line and uh, you know what scene I'm talking about oh, at the yeah. end there no, yeah. there's probably 30 takes of him kicking that door open because we were all laughing so hard and uh, the lines that he are giving I, I don't I don't think he ended up giving what was in the script because we did it so many times. Everyone was just like, just shoot, get something where we're not freaking laughing. That was probably the hardest film to shoot because we were laughing. But I think the, the funniest scene in the movie is a flashback to a, a cheesy barbarian movie franchise that they love. Um, so there's a segment where they're watching Swords and Bitches 3, Blood Ogre of the Spider Queen. I think that plays the funniest. I really love it. Uh, we were laughing filming that, but... Two answers for you there, I guess. Hey, two's better, two for the price of one. I like it. Um, speaking of prices, uh, being independent, obviously we know it's not like you have major studio money backing you. I'm just curious, what percentage of your budget went towards buying cereal? <laughs> well, all right. So, yeah, we, they eat a lot of cereal. Uh, we did eat a lot of the prop cereal as part of craft services. But, I mean, for us, because it was so low budget, I would say there was probably equal budget towards effects materials and effects and uh, craft services and catering. Because I want to feed everybody. I always say first thing on a film set, you know, first thing you have food, then you have fun, then comes the film. So as long as you're feeding everybody and you're having a good time, then worry about what the freak you're going to shoot. Uh, and so we ate really good. A lot of that was cereal. I would say half the budget. Half the budget, fair enough. And. Um Again, without giving out, I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Hopefully, the cereal one wasn't too big. They eat cereal. But Spoiler alert! Yeah. A for, lot of it. If for anybody who's ever partook, um, you're going to eat a lot. Of, you're going to eat a lot of damn cereal. So I just love how lifelike it is. Yeah. Um, but I know the characters in the movie have a debate. So I'm curious for you, what's your favorite zombie movie of all time, and which which do you prefer, slow or fast zombies? So this is, a, this is a weird answer, because I prefer slow zombies. Uh, I, I think that's part of the appeal of a zombie, is that they are slow if there's one, but over time and with many, they can become overpowering. So I prefer the slow zombies, but I'd have to say my favorite zombie movie is Return of the Living Dead, where they are decidedly fast and talking zombies, which I'm never for, except for Return. And it might be because Return was the the one that really pulled me into the zombie genre. 
I had just recently discovered Evil Dead, which pulled me into the way that horror movies could be funny like that, period. And then very soon found Return of the Living Dead, a very probably too young of an age at the video store. Um, and, and it still remains my favorite. We, a lot of what's in Bong the Living Dead comes from Return of the Living Dead, uh, it, hopefully in more of an homage than a ripoff. But uh, it is all with love because I love Return of the Living Dead. Tar Man's probably my favorite zombie. So, even though yeah, they're fast and they're fast zombies in Return, and, but I prefer slow generally. And as a story element, I think slow zombies are creepier. I, you know, I can agree. You I can agree. Dude, I love slow zombies, man. Yeah. It's. I know I'm, I'm talking realistics here in a fucking fantasy story. But it's okay. Rigor Morris is going to set in. There's no yep. damn way they're going to run. And they would be rotting. The older they would, they, the slower they would be, type thing. I like that. The dead corpse. When they're fast, they lose that deadness. It's a, uh, you know, and I like 28 Days Later. I love that shit, but I prefer true slow zombies. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's more terrifying when they're slow. Now, a lot of people argue the other, you know, argue the opposite yeah. way. Oh, they're fast, they'll catch you. Yeah, the slow ones, but they'll catch you too. You gotta stop. There's, they don't. And they're quiet, and they don't have to stop. Did you see the one? Uh, I think it stains. It stains the sands red, oh, where that, it's that like a single brilliant. zombie chasing. So cool. That was cool to me. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, that that's a good one, and you'll see a new use for a used tampon in that film. Amazing film. I was like, holy shit, that movie was great. Great. But speaking of <laughs> another great movie, again, I'm here with Max Grow, director of Bong of the Living Dead. Go out and get it. Uh, you can order on Scream Team Releasing. They have a Blu-ray DVD combo with a fat sack of weed on the front. Uh, that's there. That's product placement. Yeah, support indie horror. I'm telling you, you guys do not want, want to miss this film. I slept on it a little bit longer than I should have. You're going to love it. Max, thanks for uh, doing the interview yeah, with no me. Problem. I appreciate thanks, it. Thank you. Thanks, guys.